I'd like to show you a bass made by Arnold Schnitzer in New York. Um, for this particular line of basses, I believe what he does is uh, imports uh, wood and perhaps uh, partially uh, worked from Germany and makes this line of basses. So um, European woods, American craftsmanship, he's definitely doing all the final details, the um, graduation of the top, purfling, and varnish for sure. So um, why don't we start up at the top of the base, pan up there and uh, take a look, um, starting with the scroll and the tuning machines. Nicely worked scroll. I think that uh, Arnold is getting these tuning machines. Um, they're Russian made and I think they're available at uh, KC Strings. And um, actually I noticed there's some real nice flame on the neck. That uh, uh, was a pleasant observation. And of course, uh, made in 2005, there's no damage to speak of on this bass. Um, the, the setup for jazz on this bass is really outstanding. It's a larger bodied bass. This would be the 7 8 or, or full size uh, violin cornered body from the, from the German point of view, but then it's uh, set up in a bass with a 42 inch string length, so it's not difficult to play. Then with the dots here, you can really find your way around um, uh, for jazz improvisation. And the action, the, the work on the fingerboard is outstanding. Uh, this bass plays very well, evenly and without choking, um, with very low action. You can hear this kind of a sound. And uh, I would say that that's three millimeters down here at the bottom of the fingerboard. Okay, and then moving our way down the, the, um, the base, you see that the wood is plain in character, but uh, the correct European species and uh, correctly cut. Um, so good quality wood. I can see the um, grain here on the edge of this fingerboard and tell you that the, the um, grain on the top is really quite perfectly vertical. I mentioned it before, but it's worth saying again that this is the larger bodied bass. So we featured this bass in a uh, kind of a comparison with four larger basses that are here in the shop. And <clears throat> um, you could hear, that, hear this bass compared on that one, but um, it's a good full sound that we get out of this instrument. Um, I think it's time to go ahead and play it with um, with uh, a jazz approach, and let's see what we got. Let's try some higher notes. Sings well on the top, growls well on the bottom, and I hope you hear a good strong sound throughout. So it sounds great as a jazz bass, and uh, you really don't have any excuse for losing your way around with dots marking the full two octaves. And then um, you'll hear next uh, Daniel playing this bass with a bow in hand, 
and also a different set of strings. It'll, it has a set of uh, bel cantos on for that. And um, you'll see it's also a very strong sounding arco bass. Mm -hmm. 